Hello everyone, welcome to the final lesson of the course. Now we have our cool graphic pretty much done. Everything looks fine. We have the comic effect. We arrange the lights and the shadows. We fix all the, the color tones. And this looks really nice. We have the nice title. So it's time to create some final effects so that it looks even cooler. First, I don't think that we need this poster to be so tall, so we can fix that. Let's go to the background and make sure that the gradient is a little smaller. Just a little bit, not too much. Kind of like this. And we're going to take our crop tool and we're going to fix the size like this. Let's wait for it. Okay, so now everything looks better now. Now let's add some cool effects first. Let's create a new layer and this layer will be a dark tone. You can even make it completely black. And now let's go to filter and let's go to noise and select add noise. And let's set it to 6% and make sure it's on Gaussian and monochromatic maybe 5% instead. Click OK now and we will have this. Now on the blending modes for this layer we can call this layer noise. On the blending mode let's set it to a screen and we have some sort of cool film effect to this poster. We have a nice grain here so what the screen does is that it takes all the black parts of this layer and blends them with the layers above, with the layers below. So all we can see is the little dots that the noise created. So I like this effect. I like how the noise looks on anything. It makes them look like more real or more mysterious. Okay, now one more time take all of the images the, these four guys and let's create some copies and let's flatten them with control and E so we will have only one image we can place them here we have this place it here below the title. Now go to filter, go to other and select high pass. High pass is a really cool tool that we can use either for sharpening the edges of an image or smoothing the edges of an image. So we can use them for both things but right now we're going to use it to sharp the edges. Let's select two pixels click OK, you can see you will have this effect, click OK right now it looks weird of course take this high pass and select a blending mode of overlay now if you take a look you can see how the edges are really sharp right now and that's all thanks to the high pass alright one more time Let's select all of the images, duplicate them, and flatten them with Ctrl and E. Now this time let's take this all the way to the back and let's increase the size. You will have something like this.
yeah I think this is fine all right now for the foreground color select this same color the same magenta color that we use for the title and now let's go to filter filter gallery and let's select the stamp don't worry about it looking weird right now you can set it to 13 the smoothness click OK and now for the blending mode select multiply and you will have this nice effect here we have some sort of duplicate here on the back of them so I think this looks really nice now let's see how it looks without anything surrounded it okay as you can see we have a really nice graphic you can see how the images were before that we touched them and you can see that they were nice images but they are, were kind of plain and we made them look like with this nice comic effect kind of like the Grand Theft Auto posters effect remember that I shared with you all these files that I use for the course please leave some comments on the discussion board and please remember to share your own projects and see you on another course